Afternoon world, it's mid-afternoon in the UK. It is Wednesday the 16th of December 2020. Uh, we are about 14 hours away from Saturn leaving Capricorn for the last time in 27 years and moving into Aquarius. Now Saturn moving into Aquarius. <sighs> Using the old traditional system of astrology, Saturn rules Aquarius as well as Capricorn. I don't really hold much with the old traditional systems of astrology. I'm more of a, I wouldn't describe myself as a futuristic astrologer, more of a present day one, contemporary, I suppose. If I look back though, at the times when Saturn's been in Aquarius before, um, obviously I wasn't alive in the 1930s, the mid, early mid 1930s, but Saturn was in Aquarius over the period of 1961 to 63, 64, and uh, then again over 1991 to 1994. And now Saturn's moving into Aquarius at the start of 2021, and it will be there throughout 2021, 2022, and much of 2023. Aquarius is the water bearer, but it's an air sign, which is a bit of a paradox. But when you think of it in terms of it being an air sign, you've got the three air signs, Gemini, which is around personal communication, the way you think, the way you talk. Libra, which is about personal interaction, the way you communicate with other and interact with other people at the one-to-one -one level, regardless of context. And then Aquarius, which is more communal interaction. It deals with the way we interact with groups, collectives, friends, communities, social parties, social engagement. Aquarius is also a fixed sign. And if you look at the other fixed signs, you've got Taurus, which is a fixed earth sign, which is much more about the, the groundedness in the here and now, the pragmatic, the practical, the earthy. You've got Leo, which is a fixed fire sign, which is all about the creative, the dogmatic, perseverant energy you push into being personally creative. You've got Scorpio, which is a water fixed sign, which is all about um, how still waters run deep and this is how I feel and that's the way it is. And then there's Aquarius, which is an air fixed sign, as in this is, this is the pattern for the future. This is how I want my future to be. And Aquarius is very much the sign of the future. It's always been seen as a futuristic potential. Aquarians are not known for being drawn to the past, although some Aquarians, those who are very Saturnine, the 15% of them who are quite Saturnine, are very much stuck in the past, but most of them are much more orientated around looking towards the future than they are the past. Um, Aquarius is not just a sign of humanity. It's, it's collective, it's group, friend, social, deals with, that as Aquarius is the 11th sign, so the 11th house is the area of community and friends. But Aquarius is also the sign of hopes and wishes for the long-term future, both individually and collectively. And here I think Saturn's going to act as somewhat of a grounding presence. In, 90, in, the, in, the, in, in the 60s when Saturn was in Aquarius, I'm sure some bright spark here will probably prove me wrong, um, Saturn was, was sort of grounding our, our hopes and wishes and that's when Kennedy said, we need to land on the moon. In the early 90s when Saturn was in Aquarius, um, yeah, in the early 90s when Saturn was in Aquarius, this was a time where a lot of the woolly thinking of the late 80s, early 90s was turning into pragmatic reality. It wasn't a particularly brilliant time for a lot of people. It was a big time of social change post, post Berlin Wall coming down and major refugee issues beginning to develop throughout Europe. And then we got now, Saturn moving into Aquarius now. So what can we expect from the planets of structure, order, boundary, discipline, hard work, but also restriction, limitation, and dealings with authorities. What can we can expect from this energy moving into the water bearer, the community, the friends, the social life? Seems to me that Santa moving into Aquarius is gonna be welcomed. It's going to stop some of the more Wild West attitudes of social media. 
it's going to curtail the plethora of fake news. We've got situations where, uh, to, to comment on it, to use a word I've been using a lot recently, a dystopian use of the internet where we've got um, both um, um, squatters and, and company head honchos both using the internet to spy on everyone else. Social media is being marketed and harvested all the time to give other people that 0.0001% of an edge on their competitors. It's a, the internet has been the wild west of the last 30 years. It's been uncontrollable. And now Saturn's moving into Aquarius. And I suggest that it's going to bring, it's going to put a bit of a break on. It's, it's not going to limit the usage of all of this, but it is going to curtail some of the more extremes of behavior that we've seen, especially in the last few years. So I do expect a downturn in the plethora of fake news. I, I expect to see um, a more manageable way of using various different social media platforms. I also expect to see a much more constructive way of developing off-planet technologies. Instead of buying into the paranoia of future development, I suggest that Saturn in Aquarius is going to help us really work with various different technological groups who are seeking to explore space in a way that should ultimately benefit the whole of humanity. Whenever there's a crisis on planet, it seems that a large amount of people go into conspiracy mode. But the opposite side of this is that a lot of people also go into magical thinking. Because when you're faced with a situation where the immovable force against the unstoppable object, now the unstoppable, immovable object against the unstoppable force, thank you, is happening, then there is no, there is no way that either's gonna win. But then there's always a third option. You go underneath or round or over or through or you dissolve into it and there's ways. And they're not always going to be linear. In this last year, magical thinking based around the individual self-development into the esoteric, the odd, the synchronistic, the magical, the semi-spiritual has really developed. Lots more people now are exploring this side of their consciousness. A lot of people, because of the epidemic, have been forced into doing a lot of shadow work on themselves. And some of them have been forced into it kicking and screaming, and they're really bitter and angry, and they want to lash out to the world. And here you find the conspiracy theorists. And a lot of people have gone, okay, let's do some shadow work. Let's work on myself. And they've got in touch with their own psychology and they've discovered a side of life that has an essence of magic about it. And I do not use that word lightly. And um, these are the people who are thriving. They still have a link of some type with their own notion of spirituality. And I suggest that now Saturn's moving into Aquarius, we're going to see a much more grounded consensual approach. I was only reading today about how, um, of course, Big Pharma are now investing in finding a um, synthetic form of psilocybin so that they can market it as a cure for depression. As someone who was taking psilocybin monthly in the 70s and 80s, even though it was illegal in those days, well, it still is illegal. Uh, I just think, well, Mother Nature knows best. Why, why create a synthetic version? But the idea of um, structuring ways of accessing and changing consciousness is very much a Saturn in Aquarius theme. Whether you agree with it or not, it's going to happen. So I suggest that Saturn in Aquarius is going to, on the one hand, bring a much more structured approach and disciplined approach to futuristic development. It's going to bring a bit more order into some of the craziness of the last three years. It's also going to get rid of a lot of the more extreme factions of behavior that we've witnessed in recent times. 
but it's also going to ground us individually in our own aspirations and hopes for the future. Because at the end of the day, Aquarius is about the future. It's about our hopes and wishes for ourselves and for our planet. And Saturn, if used correctly, is the planet of discipline, hard work and success. Now, after having had two and a half years of Saturn and Capricorn with Pluto and Jupiter, I'm actually really pleased to see Saturn moving into Aquarius. And I'm sure a number of other people, notably Aquarians, are probably going to disagree with me. But that's your prerogative. One planet, seven different billion worlds. But I suggest that within a few days from now, we're going to start seeing developments that are going to epitomise and represent Saturn moving into Aquarius in a way that's really going to be noticeable especially as Jupiter moves into Aquarius in about four days, five days from now. And as we get into the new year, there's going to be some rocking changes. More on that in a couple of days' time. Tomorrow, I want to look at the end of Jupiter and Capricorn, followed by Jupiter moving into Aquarius. And then it's going to be solstice when the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction happens, so we need to look at that as well. More on this later. Have a great day, world. Catch you later. Bye.